In the land of Hyrule there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. That text went by too fast. Sorry. Anyways, hello there everybody, this is Siwap the Platinum One here, and I welcome you to my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. My favorite Zelda game until eventually Skyward Sword topped it. Why do I love this game? Well, you'll see later, but for now I'm gonna shut up for this cutscene. <laughs> I love the look on Link's face, by the way. He's like, he's like, 
Give me back my shit. <laughs> And our horse was stolen. Yay, yes. Already something's gone wrong. So basically, if you ever played Ocarina of Time before, you should know how to play this game. Because this is Ocarina of Time's sequel. Hooray! So I'm just gonna get some rupees here because, well, you know, you never know when you're gonna need rupees, am I right? Hmm. I don't know, it's something I always like to do first because Again, rupees are important in the world of Zelda. But more important things are happening right now, like our horse, Epona, was stolen. So we gotta go get that guy back. Or girl back. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what Epona is. <laughs> okay. So. Anyway, in here. We literally go down the hole and. Wait. Did Link just, like, step off the thing? I know that's a trick like in movies. Ooh, pretty. Pretty colors. <laughs> What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't say listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think I'd be beating me blah blah blah? I can't read. Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Oh noes. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. Failure. And already she's better than Navi. If I wasn't dealing with you, I would have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Do something! Do, Do something! something! Echoes. Echoes. Why are you looking at me with that? What? Is there something stuck on my face? You're made of light! What the heck is a face? Anyway. Will you stop staring there and open that door for me? Please, come on. I hope this little girl is asking you. Well, you are a girl, so I'm entitled by law to help out girls. I'll tell. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I love these lights, by the way. They're like, they're like full of carnival-style stars and circles and whatnot. Something that people normally don't point out, but I figured I might as well. Anyway, of course, to open the door, press A to open doors, just like in all games, or in all 3D games, rather. And go in here, and wait for me. Don't leave me behind. 
So, um, that's stuff back there. I, um, apologize, so... So take me with you. We'll know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so it's all settled. But thou must. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we all got that straight now, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press C up, or rather, up stick on the classic controller, because I'm using it. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. What am I gonna do with you? And then, three, two, yeah, we can't even manage ourselves for, like, two seconds. Good lord. I can tell you not used to your Deku scrub body yet. Alright, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on that Deku flower right there, you can dive into it. If you wait a little bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower, press A to descend, while flying to descend. Yes, I did give that. Get all that, yes. Press A while you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Yes, so in our Deku form right here, we can spin attack, like so. We can go a little bit faster, and it helps out with travel, essentially. And when we press A to hold dive and to the Deku flower right here, we can launch up and glow flower petals of awesomeness, and we fly in the sky. Of course, there's grass down there if you want to get more rupees, but I'd rather just keep things moving along. And, oh no, it's a door lock behind us. That means there's a mini-boss. No. This area is just mainly tutorial to get, get you used to your Deku form. So let's dive in. And up here, we get a treasure chest. Yay, I can finally say treasure chest again after so long. So here we got a Deku Nut. You basically equip it like so on the select item subscreen like this. To either C left, C down, or C right, or X, Y, and Z, R, like so. And on the ground, you can use them to stun enemies like that. However, there's another use for them. While you're in the air, you can press B to, like, bomb enemies like that. So, all that will be pretty useful. Anyway, let's go over here. And drop down. If that area was like a bit too far, then that area would be impassable. Hey, come on, press L to talk to me. Yes, so I'm using the L button, of course. Like I said, I'm using the classic controller since this is the virtual console release. But anyway, there you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly the objects, press L to look press L to look around. I'm 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 not used to the Z targeting whatever. <laughs> it's talking like it's the uh it's the uh, N64 game when it's clearly not. <laughs> I'm just ba I'm just basing using controls in terms of classic controller. So anyway, what do we got over here? It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like I could start crying any s second now. How sad. Hmm. Maybe we'll elaborate on this tree a little bit later. Anyways, whoa, whoa, We're stripping out, man. I don't know why, but that transition always scared to me as weird. And we're trapped. Nose, so we can't get back to Hyrule. Yeah, anyway, here's something else about the Deku form here. The Deku form can't swim. However, you can hop on, you can hop on water like so. And if you waste too much time in the water, you'll end up drowning, and you'll start from, like, the very edge of the last place you were. That is kind of cheap. <laughs> and you see why a bit later, how, how much more cheap it can get. Well, if you're not a good, like, auto-jumper or whatever, or if you're not used to the 3D controls yet, but... Holy crap! Holy crap, Staka! I owned a happy mask shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. That's rude, as Demo would say. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. 
If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange? All I ask is for you to get me back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. Except... The one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you were to get back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Of course, like any standard RPG... Oh, whoa, we were inside his body. Like any standard RPG, we are the hero that everyone who we just met depends upon, and... stuff. Now let's go through the door. <laughs> and indeed, my friends, welcome to Termina, the brand new region that Majora's Mask takes place in. And this is Clock Town. He gives me two creeps. That masked man was the... Sorry, though, the masked man. What are we talking about, Mother 3? But three days? Even if we never sleep, and Link never does, that still leaves us with a measly 17 two hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Okie dokie. So, here we are. And people already hate us. What the heck? Wait, wait, hang on. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? Well, it's a Deku, but... Good lord, their hair is awesome. <laughs> this is my private property. Don't use it when I'm not around. Well, sorry. Jeez. Anyway, let's go into this part of South Clock Town, which is the laundry pool. And over there is a frog. Just a frog, and oh, hello, what what do we have here? Please, hear my plea. The masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Oh, okay, so we're going there anyway, so we might as well end. Whoa, hey. Jesus Christ, you could be a contender for Sonic, guy. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I should get to explaining the main mechanic of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Which is, well, time constraints. You see that thing over there on the bottom of the screen that says first and the hours are seven? Well then, this game has a time limit. And the mask salesman, the happy mask salesman said that he's leaving in three days. So, that only gives us three days to do everything. And stuff. Yeah. That's all I really have to say about that matter. <laughs> I'll be getting into more of that a bit later as we go along with this, but... But now let's get more rupees right here. And... And... Ooh, hello. What do you got? I said, what do you got? What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Could you, sir, by in be any chance a fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle. You think I'm the same as you, sir? A forest fairy. Alas, though I'm already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to go up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle's the very reincarnation of a fairy. What? Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy on my own, I sell maps to help my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. In exchange, I'll sell you a map as cheap as a sign of my friendship. Okay, so, let's buy a map of this place. Clock Town. We got a map of Clock Town, so... The the red arrow shows where you enter, the yellow shows where you location. Okay. Tingle, tingle, color limpa! Those are the magic words, like Tingle created itself. Don't steal them! Well, screw you, I'm selling them anyway, but anyway. Yeah, guys, that is the very first appearance of Tingle. Loved by everyone in Japan, nearly hated by everyone in North America. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, what do we got? What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Yeah, yeah that guy scares me. Anyway, what? What are you doing? Aren't you going to take this fairy to the shrine near the north gate? That's what I was doing. 
Thanks for pointing that out for me. Anyway, here we are in the Fairy's Fountain. And believe it or not, that fairy we picked up is indeed part of Lady with Polygons and Pointy Boobs. What? Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my shattered and broken body back to normal. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, but I grew careless. All I can offer you now is I shall grant magic power as a sign of my gratitude. God. Jeez. Who'd have thunk this would get by this? And this should be rated E10, guys. Just like the uh, remake, the 3DS remake of Ocarina of Time, but apparently the rating didn't exist yet, so... Our hat is clipping through the floor anyway. And we've been granted magic power, so... We can press B to shoot bubble blasts, and press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. And the magic power decreases, so replenish it with magic part jars and potions. Magic bars? What? The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If you ever are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Okay, so if we should return to our human form, then we should definitely go back to the Great Fairy. Anywho's. Let's see, what time am I at? 22 minutes, okay. I suppose I could do... I suppose I could do at least one more thing. So... What I want to do now is... It's 10 a.m. So, we want to figure out what's going on here in East Clock Town, this is. And yeah, I spoiled it, ha ha ha. And let's see what's up at this place, whatever this place is. So what do you got? I'm the, I'm of the Gorman troop. I'm pointing with the madam today. Oh really? That should be a fine place, so just go in. Or fine place, just go in. What? I can't read, even read. So basically, this is the mayor's office, the mayor of Clocktown. So, let's see what do we have in here. And ooh, this could be trouble. Uh -huh. Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. You cowards! You actually believe the moon will fall- What do I sound like a character from Venture Bros? The confused townsfolk are simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers who couldn't prevent the panic, but people outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Are you serious, Muto? It seems a giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we're overrun by tourists, so why is this town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vison! We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success! I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, won't she, Mayor Deltor? Let's not bring my wife into this. Mm. All must take refuge! On with the carnival! Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made a really, really stupid voice for that guy. <laughs> yeah, but giant chunk of rock. What the heck could that be so we can use C up to look up into the sky? So it's holy crap! Oh my god. Oh man, that's not good. So apparently that big moon right there has something to do with what's happening around town. So that could be potentially bad. But either way, we're going to stop this episode here now. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to do some stuff around town. So... 
I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.